evening and welcome to the Gary Brodsky Show with your host, Gary Brodsky. Brought to you by GaryBrodsky.com, OccultForce.com, WealthPlusPower.com. As soon as I can get more websites, MoreWebsites.com. All right, we're going to talk about myths about dating, relationships, sex, and all that stuff, okay? This is going to be fun. Myth, I hate the number, but I got to, okay? That's the way we talk. Number one, you need money to get women. Now, let's think about that for a second. Okay, done. You need money to get women. Okay, look around at wealthy people. Your doctor, for example. There he is, that no personality attitude, can't even do his receptionist, nothing. Is he getting women? Is he in bed with two or three beautiful women at night? No. But yet, he has money. Take a look at a lot of computer geeks. They've got money. They've no women. Look at, okay, rock stars, different thing. Go into that later. But women respond to one thing. That's not money. Not. Just look around. Bill Gates. See, having fun? He's buying a lot of stuff. Doing a lot of things I don't agree with. But that's him. We're talking about you. Money does not get you women. Ah, but that one does. Being alpha gets you women. Proven fact. I mean, they did not just invent the genders yesterday. They'd like you to believe that. They have all this propaganda out now. How men should act. How women should act. It's called birth control propaganda, okay? They don't want men and women being with each other. You want to follow their agenda? You're a jerk off, okay? Basically, you're a jerk off. You don't want to be that. You do not want to be a jerk off. But they have so skewed the mind of men and women today that it seems like it's a battle and a war. In a lot of ways, it is. But as men, we must go into battle to win. And we must use every tool at our disposal to do that. That is what a man does. Say, I want women. I'm going to go out there and get women. That's it. When you start to have doubt, they're losing alphaness. You got to go out there with the attitude, I'm going to conquer, win, and yes, dominate and control the situation and the woman. Otherwise, you're going to be a punching bag because women today are a little sharper, a little smarter, and a little bit more programmed. You show weakness, you are going to get zapped. And that was true years ago. So, yeah, people call me old school. Old school worked. Look at Fonzie, look at Clark Gable, look at all those old romance movies. Their alpha presence worked. Women loved them. Not because they were movie stars. A lot of movie stars women didn't like, but the alpha presence always worked. Elvis took command of the stage. That worked. You have to take command and control and every audio product, by the way, all on sale, will help you alpha up. And that will get you women. Now, like I said, you have so many audio programs. Which one works the best? They all do. Now, I'll explain why they all do. Because they all teach different aspects. And you don't know what situation you're going to be in. And I listen to the audios myself all the time to see what I can improve, what I can do, you know, edit wise, whatever. And I have one audio out there that doesn't get bought that much, but really has some phenomenal advice in it. It's called How to Be Cool. And it has got some of the best advice ever, which literally people have told me, you know, I didn't think I was going to get it. Overnight, completely different people. It talks about how to walk alpha, how to stand alpha, so that when you make the approach, you already have them. Because we all know one fact. 
women decide whether they're going to sleep with you in the first five minutes of meeting you. That's why I don't go for these other programs. I've listed all those other guys. Myth number two. Don't listen to those guys. That was a good one. They all have this time thing to work in. Now, the longer you take, the more they're going to bring up their defenses. You want to take them subconsciously. I remember uh, one of these shows called me up. I'm not going to mention which one. Now, believe me, I don't do this for my health. It's pretty obvious, isn't it? Okay? Uh, and they said, would you want to be on our show? I said, sure. What the hell, right? I said, but you can't show how covert your tactics are. I said, what do you mean? They said, you got to show how blatant and obvious your tactics are. I said, but, but mine aren't. They're very subtle and very, you know, like a snake strike. You feel it before you see it. They said, yeah, but we don't like that. Can you completely change what you do? Because you got a good, you know, whatever. I thought I had a good book and accent or whatever. I can change my accent if I want. I said, no, because you're taking away the whole thing. The whole idea is to make it subconscious. Because, and this is really important. That's why, oh yeah, forgot to mention, braintrainpower.com. The subconscious mind does not know truth from fiction. A lot like the political media today. And that's why I have so many diverse audio programs. If you want to start a cult, it's on there. If you want to start a relationship, it's on there. Because you never know where you're going to find yourself on a date or a situation. Now, I have a couple of audios on dating. Because guys, uh, you know, hey, I'm doing great. I picked up a girl, I have a date with her. What are you going to do on the date? What are you going to do on the date? You got to know how to win that first date. How to date like a prick. Now, I know it sounds counterintuitive. Like, I don't want to be a prick. Well, you act like a nice guy on a date. Guess what you're doing? You're going home alone and getting the baby oil. Because we all know nobody's baby needs oil. Oh, well, shit. It's been two weeks. Got all the kid. No, you're going to be in the bathroom. Think about who you dated. You don't want that. Okay? That's why there's something for everyone. The audio program Pussy Whipped. Okay? You may laugh at the title. That it's kind of funny myself. But when a guy gets Pussy Whipped, usually it's a very slow incremental process. All of a sudden, you're not in a friend zone. You're in a horror zone. And... Pussy whipping is very emotionally painful. So I uh, just wanted to get that out of the way, what GaryBrodsky.com is about. And if you go there, you get a free ebook, which really, uh, if you're a new signer, if you're an old signer, you already got the free ebook, so I don't want to have any complaints. GaryBrodsky.com works. End of story. Let's see if you have any questions here. Okay, a cult questions are coming in, and those I'll have to get back to you, but I said I'm not opening up the emails, so I can send you back emails tomorrow. I'm not doing any emails tonight. I have been loaded with phone calls. Why? Because my advice works. It's not advice. It's studied U.S. intelligence stuff that they use in the upper societies. Why? Because they're hooking up. They're getting together. They're dating. They want to dumb you down and make you into a goddamn drone. Why would you follow that program? It's a, hey, I got a great program for everybody to follow, okay? Listen to this. Here's how it works. You stay politically correct. You don't work out and look like a man. You have feminine and effeminate movements in your body. You have terrible posture. You don't know how to speak to a woman. You don't know how to overcome your fear of anxiety of approaching women and you basically stay home behind your computer all day long and uh, what do you think of that? Because that's what they think you should do. They want to castrate the hell out of you and uh, that just don't go. Anybody can get any woman. And I know that sounds like a big statement but it's a question of knowledge. It's not a question of luck. When you hear people say, here's another myth, Hey, I got lucky tonight. No, you didn't. You did something right that you don't even know you did and hope to repeat it. 
So instead of getting lucky, use knowledge. That's the greatest power on earth, knowledge. Check the mail, and it's the fucking thing updates. Out the window with this shit. Did the lights go out there too? Okay, just kidding. All right, I'm going to take a quick soda break. Questions, Gary Brodsky, one, two, three at AOL.com. Just shoot off a question, I'll shoot off an answer. And I do want to say, I'll get back here in a second because I want to have some soda. And uh, this is the only music that I can play because the guy who complains is probably watching tonight. All right, I'm back. Miss me? Checking for mail. Okay. Question. Tell everybody about the blood gold. I was going to do that anyway. Okay. Um, of all things, this, if I can get it here, blood gold, is about the best thing you can do for yourself. My opinion. Okay. And it will work within a few minutes because it's a liquid and you will see results within a few minutes okay first of all all your anxiety approach anxiety starts to die out there's so much to it I can do hours on that but you can just check it out at GaryBrasky.com it's right on the opening page blood gold it protects you from so many things especially yourself all the stuff stored in your DNA that makes you feel dejected rejected erased. Now think about this. You're a person. So are you. You I'm not too sure about. But we radiate. Gold attracts. That's why every culture has used it. When you take it inside, it attracts. It attracts women. It attracts opportunity. And that is what it does. And it does a lot more than just that. But just on the attraction angle, let me tell you. I'm not advising this, but people have taken it, a lot of women have taken it, because, hey, so everybody. Also, they say, you know, my husband is treating me so nice. My boyfriend bought me flowers. You know, my boyfriend used to be bad, he turned good. Because people become attracted. Now, I know it's not on one of the inexpensive items list, but I've had this for a while. If it doesn't work, just say it didn't work. Don't even send it back. Pour it down the toilet. Give it to a friend. Use it for a yeah, cream rinse, whatever. You get a refund. To date, not only have I not gotten a request for a refund, but I've actually gotten death threats because it didn't come fast enough. Because once you start and you see the results, opportunities opening up all over the place, you are attracting because you're a broadcaster. Tesla said, if you want to see the secrets of the universe, look for frequency and vibration. And your frequency and vibration does go up, I don't know how many fold, but a lot fold. How's that? And you'll see people respond differently to you. You, I walk in the gym, if I take a bunch of this, like, oh, can I get you a towel? People are loading plates on the lawn for me. Guys I don't know are spotting, yeah, you know, waits for me. I walk in without it, take a couple of days off, different reaction. Now, yeah, I still have to play the game because of you know, all the research, but why not make it easier? I don't know. People seem to fear results. Now, one of the benefits of blood gold is smoking. No, I'm kidding. Silver and copper, too. I mean, those three elements. Damn. Without that, the world would stop without copper, silver, and gold. Even if it was not used for money. We couldn't broadcast. We couldn't record. We couldn't do anything. It's all in photography, everything. Every venture has gold, silver, and copper. It used to be in the soil, so we didn't need it. It's not in the soil anymore. Look up Monsanto. Is the benefit I want to tell you. Is it helps build muscle. You don't want to build muscle, you'll still build muscle. 
Where's the proof? Well, I don't have the budget of all those other products out there, but I do have this. Okay? 21 fucking inches. No steroids, no other supplements, except blood gold, alpha boomine, and DHEA. Of course, this stuff works. And it doesn't take me long to do that. I just discovered this stuff about four years ago, looking for it my whole life. My arms were 17 inches. Boom, boom, boom. Pretty soon I'm not going to be able to fit my normal clothes. Uh, that's okay. We're a bathrobe. Just letting you know what works, what doesn't work. I want to have what I call overkill. When I go out there and meet women, everything goes MK17, the world. Why? Because it works. That's why. All right, let's see if we have any intelligent questions coming in. Tell us something works, right? Ah, the questions are here. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Good evening. Thank you. Great show as usual. Thank you. Where did I get started? That fucking fruitcake watching the show just to complain. To, just to complain to you should fuck off and turn his dancing with the stars or something. This alpha, this is alpha male territory. Oh, I am going to use that line, Chris. Thank you. That is great. Uh, this is alpha male territory. That is going to be, Chris, watch it. It's going to be on a website. It's a new line. This is alpha male territory. Please resend it. I want to actually use it on, on the line. Uh, on my uh, website. That good. This is alpha male territory. Alpha male is not afraid of, unless you're in a sexual harassment suit. With that stupid fucking voice I have to hear every fucking day. Excuse my language. I actually heard this. It's, it's always on Facebook. It's where you get all the information, right? That people who curse more are the most honest people. So from now on, I'm only hiring people who have Tourette's, okay? Now that joke's again. This pulled right off of YouTube. But, um... Ah, Ryan, good evening. How are you? Wow, I got some good typeface. I can read this. Gary, I started using your workout video and gained some serious mass. People now me, accuse me of using steroids. Is that the best comment in the world? I'm sure you have the same problem. What do you usually tell these people? Ryan. Nice, Chris. I just lost. That is the best compliment. And that is. People always tell me, what steroids are you doing? And I don't even know about steroids. Like, uh, I take my own supplements. Oh, those don't work. But you, you just said I had steroids. You want to try some of this? Nah. I want the real stuff. How big are your arms? 15? Mine 21. You want to give it a shot? No. Nope. People today are afraid of results. And uh, Ryan, I'm glad you're getting results. And that is the best compliment in taking steroids. I get that all the time. I hear this in the gym bathroom sometimes. I go in and take a leak. You know, the cork in my ass. No, just kidding. It's a sick joke. Uh, it counts for comedy kind of routine. I'm not going to the gym bathroom to have a cork in my ass. But uh, anyway, and I hear people going, on. Oh, you take steroids. Uh, listen, who takes that? Oh, me. No, I don't. Won't even consider it. Not at all. This blood gold and the alpha boomai and DHEA, all natural stuff. I like natural stuff, like tobacco, cigarettes. We'll forget that for a second, okay? But, you know, my workout routine, it's funny. I came in Friday. The gym's about to close. I think it was Friday. I don't remember. I said, wow, the gym's about to close in about 15 minutes. That's plenty of time to work out. Two sets of six curls, two sets of eight triceps pull downs, with you know as much weight as I can handle. I walked out. People overtrain, and if you want to get it, the video on how to work out, how to walk cool, that attracts women. I would do it here, but then you just cut the top of my head off and I'm like dick. Um, plus, how do you even know wearing pants, right? And now Renee's going to try me. Um,
But yeah, people, oh, you know, Alpha is direct. And that's one thing that I preach is directness. When you approach one, myth number two, don't hide your intentions. They know why you're there. They, yeah, as soon as you catch eye contact and you don't start walking, you're losing. And that's on fast seduction or instant seduction, I mean, make your move. You gotta make your move quick. It's like a street fight where he goes, go ahead. He's in an indefensible position. Go ahead. He's trying to stay down. I learned this from Palehead. There's a tough bully in school. And he used to always go, go ahead, take the first punch. He's getting down. This is my brother. My brother hit him. Boom! And to that guy, he had to transfer schools. But it was funny as hell. It was really funny. Because no one ever did it. And same thing with picking up women. Don't let them get their defenses up. You know, and the, the longer you wait, the more they're going to think this first is they're going to think there's something wrong with them. That lasts about three seconds. Then they're going to think, oh, there's something wrong with you. Why can't this guy close the deal? And he's standing there talking about some bullshit. And the longer you talk and don't move in, and every move on how to move in is at GaryBratsky.com. All the audio is on sale. You want to know how to move in quick? It's covered on every one of them. Guy, well, it may take a few dates. No, it won't take a few dates. If you don't know what you're doing, it's going to take a few dates. What's it between the first date, second date, and the third date? You came back? I forgot to close this. We can't update. Ah, just updated. Good question. Guys today don't realize that there is a problem with not being alpha. And the problem should be self-evident. Look at the beta guys. Look at them. Do they have women? No. Do they have opportunities? No. They may have a job and they get paid. And today, people go, wow, this guy makes a living. We got to really worship him, don't we? No. That was normal since the beginning of time until now. Now somebody with a job, wow. Remember, the conquering spirit and attitude will get you jobs, business opportunities, women. And yeah, there's going to be some things that are going to go wrong. But alphas don't play it safe. I was supposed to fortune cost so I was still paying it off. I had limousines, cars, whatever. Didn't work out. I don't look back. You got to look ahead. And when dealing with women and picking up women, You've got to move in. It's not the birds and the bees. It's the buzzards and the horns. And you got to play it tough. And may I recommend my favorite audio to everybody on sale now, How to Be a Prick Women Love. Because there is no audio out there called, they try to put them out there, but come on, let's be realistic. How to Be a Nice Guy Women Love. Well, they do love nice guys. Not for sex. But they do love nice guys. Now, I'm going to take another soda break. So you're going to get the music again. Yep, the music. No, no, yeah. <laughs> now, interesting observation. Why you have to be alpha. I have a lot of friends who are chiropractic. There's more of a story than this. Uh, um, the biggest problem that women have is in the hips. Let me explain that a little bit more. Credibly. They have hip problems. Uh, the reason is, if you look at women walking on any newsreel, anything from the 1950s, 1960s, and 1970s, 19, early 1980s, women walked their asses shook. It was normal. Now people are so sexually uptight that they walk stiff, causing physical problems. Now the problem most guys have, and this is on a workout DVD, which for 17 bucks you can go for it, is guys do not know how to swing their shoulders when they walk. That's why they call it the zombie apocalypse, zombie this, the zombie that. 
Cause you look like a fucking bunch of zombies out there. You gotta walk like a man, act like a man, sit like a man. It's all on that, that audio. And it's on how to be cool. Guys take up space. Women sit like this. And now we're checking for mail. Wow, there's a lot of a lot, a lot of questions here. That's good. Because I can't advertise the show on Facebook because they don't approve. Oh, 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 oh. Who runs your life? You better run your own life. Hello, Gary Jason here. Hey, Jason, how you doing? Thank you for Friday's webinar. Now I can really understand why all those guys that they have, why all those guys that they have cats. Why do they have cats? It is so unlike the way men are, which is why they will never be real men. Thanks, Jason. Sorry about the poor reading, Jason. I have reading glasses somewhere. I have the list I put them on was like three years ago. And I love to read, but I'm always like this with a book. Well, actually, I get the, the big type books, you know. I just can't get used to glasses. I have two, you know, just my own, talk about myself for a second, and I don't like to do that too often. But I have glasses for distance and glasses for closeness. Some mid range, like the computer can see. When I put on glasses for distance, everything's up here. So I'm always like, like stepping like an idiot. And I put on glasses for closeness, the ground is down here, so I feel like 30 feet tall. So I adjust it. The world looks like a Monet painting to me. I think it looks nice. But there was something you said in there, Jason. Now, yeah, there was a big audio which you should get now called uh, Demons Among Us. And it's absolutely true. Uh, so much is explained on there about why people act the way they are. It's been proven by science. And it can, and you can find women that will ruin your life if you overcommit to them. And it explains how they're possessed and why they're possessed. And this goes back to biblical times, early scientific times, Egyptology, and it's all proven by science. And yet nobody knows about it. It's called Demons Among Us. It really will open your eyes to what is happening today and why women are the way they are. Some women are really acting bitchy, but when you know how to deal with it, who cares? You just don't invest your heart, your soul into it. And you'll know all about it on, on that audio program. I mean, I, I, that has taken... Uh, years, it was only mentioned once. Uh, I was waiting to see, anybody mention this? Because I, I found out about this when I was younger. And uh, actually, it's known in other countries. They haven't done much about it, but it is at least known being addressed. Not here, here will be the last thing. And, you know. But it was mentioned briefly on Alex Jones' thing. And he said, let's not talk about that because it might scare people. Now, if he's saying it's going to scare people, think of how scary it is. But you need to know. As I am saying, there's a bear trap outside my door, but I don't want to tell you that because I don't want to scare you. You step into it, you know, not a good thing. And a lot of women have become like bear traps. They look really nice. And you walk in, next thing, clap. Ah, oh, shit, I'm in trouble. Checking for mail. Okay, still checking, by the way. All right, get to this question in a second. Um, now, I'm just thinking about the phone update. Uh, yeah, I'd love to update my, my phone, to be honest with you, because it's on slow as hell. And, you know, it charges, it's like 98%, in five minutes, 53%. But, you know, when you get a new phone, you got to spend the whole day at the phone store. I just keep telling you five more minutes. Then I can't activate it. Then something else goes wrong. It's like, oh, you have no contacts. You know, sorry. What, no contacts? Hey, hey, take a free phone charge. You're out of my sight. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, it's a of little things like that. Never cooperate with the enemy. That was the first uh, seminar I ever did live. 
1,100 people in there. That was the first never corporate again. It seems that every time I come up with stories for Dr. Alpha, whose vids get taken down, fuck them. Here's another one. Dr. Alpha is walking home late one night when he is approached by a sketchy person with his hood draped over his face. This person walks up and says, Hey man, got a smoke? Dr. Alpha reaches in his jacket, pulls out a cigarette from his metal case, puts it in his own mouth and lights it. Dr. Alpha responds with cigarette mouth. Nope. The person was trying to rob Dr. Alpha and was thrown off. He gets angry and demands that Dr. Alpha gives his wallet. Dr. Alpha pulls out his wallet and says, You want this? The robber says, Quit fucking around and give me the wallet. Dr. Alpha uses his hand holding the wallet and throws a left hook, knocking the robber out cold. I like that one. And that, that's something I, I, I kind of told about on a show coming up, a video I'm doing on fighting. Is how to not get into a situation because they always thought you gotta need spare change. Do you have a cigarette? They want to test your reaction again. Never cooperate with the enemy, as this gentleman just said. They want to look for weakness. And if you show weakness, and this is the way of the world, I wish it was different. I honestly swear to God, I wish it was different. If you show weakness, you're going to be attacked. Even a great white shark that can take almost anything in the sea will go for the weak and injured because that's just the way nature designed it. It's tragic, but it is a fact. You don't want to look weak, especially in front of women. Get any of the Alpha Up audio programs and seriously, get how to be cool. Cool is not bad. Everybody wants to be cool, but they're afraid to, to express it. You know, the cool kids will pale by comparison from when you're young, when you see what real cool is. Gary, when a woman is trying to act distant and make you jealous, what is the best response to this behavior? And what you just said. Okay, simple. She's acting distant and trying to make you jealous. First of all, she can't make you understand there's anything you don't want to be. When you become jealous, you've made a voluntary choice to become jealous. But that's secondary. Now, you got to understand what works on you works on them threefold. Women are more emotional than men. She's playing a distance game, you play it back. It's like going punch for punch with Mike Tyson. You're not going to win. And when it comes to male and female, whatever they do that gets you really frustrated, I'm like, I can't, she's, I can't believe you. Do it back to them. They can't take it. I had one woman once gave me the silent treatment so bad I was beginning to doubt my own existence. I gave it back to her. She was doing the nice things to me. So what's working on you, you know it works. Do it back to her. And here's a few tips on how to play a distance game without just, I'm just not going to call her. No, quickly call her up and say, hey, I'll get back to you later. Later is basically not a real, you know, time, you know, it's like later, oh, no. It's ambiguous. Oh, hi, yeah, I, I got to get back to you. Then don't get back to her. Then call her again in a day or two and say, listen, I oh, shit, I got another call. Like, she's not important. You have to show that you count, she doesn't. That she's going to want to count and come chasing you. It's just like fishing. They go after the bait. You don't go actually in the water trying to scoop them up with the, you know, I did that once. Boy, I get in trouble, man. I'd rather be netted out of the lake. Right in front of the forest ranger. That's not too much fun. But what works on women, what they're doing to you, just do it back. Because if she's playing a game, she wants, and women like, the strong guy. Just do it back. But don't ever look like anything she does upsets you. And that, that's it. That's the whole idea about being cool. Cool means staying cool. Like relax, like this, you know. She goes, I cheated on you. Oh, yeah, did you come? Aren't you mad? No, I like you. All of a sudden, you have value. She doesn't. 
that's, let me just recommend how to be cool. Because it shows you how to handle a situation in a cool, unemotional way. It's like playing a game. Once you know where to push the pieces, you don't have to ever get jealous again. She will be camped outside your door. I had, I've had stalkers in my life. Because I've played the game too well. You want to push the envelope. So like, you have a stalker outside your house. What are you going to do? Let me get to drive me around all day. What are they going to do? Take advantage of this. Girl outside, beautiful. She's stalking me. What the hell? Doesn't bother me. Two of them showed up once. Big, yeah, never mind. But, uh, yeah, I used to do business with somebody. I had to quit because some girl was stalking him and he called the cops. If you can't handle the woman, you got to call the cops. I don't want to deal with you, okay? Just the way I am. It was a sad story. I don't want to get the whole thing. I mean, really. So the guy hid in the bathtub. Let me just talk about that for a second before you get these questions. I knew a guy, I knew the girl, he was dating. And the ex boyfriend came, knocks on the door. He says, Open the door. I'm jealous. You know, one of these jealous boyfriends. We're talking about an apartment with a steel door. The guy goes to hide in the bathroom. You think that girl ever considered him sexual again? Now, do you have to risk your life? No. You don't have to open the door either. He could have said as tough as he's... You think he get it, whatever, through the door. She called the cops anyway. She wound up going back with the other guy because he was more alpha. That is the world we live in and always have. The more alpha, and I gotta say the tougher, and the harder edge you have, the more opportunity you're going to get. And if you have approach anxiety and you have blood gold, you don't have approach anxiety anymore. Right on the opening page at GaryBrasky.com. Uh, three, Jason. Any answers? Three. Any more than that? Just wasting it. And I, I love doing it because it works. You know, it's questions about the occult. If the occult didn't work, I'm not talking about the satanic cult, because a lot of occult practices in the Bible, believe it or not. Just read Deuteronomy, Leviticus, uh, Revelation. It, they would not be doing it anymore. So, um, just mention that. And I got to close this to the gyroscope here and get fucked up. Uh, okay, as this updates, I'm going to have more soda. If you can remember where I put it. Ah, here it is. By the way, if you're trying to reach me tonight, my phone is out till tomorrow. Not because I didn't pay the phone bill. But they're painting my house. I'm going to finish that area tomorrow and then we hook up the phone. So if I haven't gotten any, back to anybody in a couple of days, you know, I don't want these things bother me. I have this one. I've got the number on this because. Why? When's it going to ring? When I'm going to call with somebody else? Some girl calls me up, I'm dead. So you can't have that. <laughs> Dust. Oh yeah, my soda break time is up. Here's a question I'll ask myself, and I'll answer it. I'll make life easy for you guys. Okay, get a girl in your car or to your place. What is the best music to seduce women? I'll tell you. Either A, Billy Holiday, or B, classical. Prove it. That's it. That's it. Classical makes a woman feel 
And this is what all the tactics at GaryBrasket.com does. If you can make a woman feel more like a woman, she's going to do things that a woman will do. And it's all there at GaryBrasket.com. I'd like to see some orders coming in here. Oh, this looks interesting. Mr. Numbers, how are you? For some reason this thing is not opening. I'm going to try to close it again, open it again. I got, what the heck is this thing going to scroll you now? Not opening. Okay, I'm going to try to open this. This is scary. I touch that. Let's see if I open this one. Nothing is opening. I got to turn this, watch, I got to turn this fucking thing off. And I'm going to have to turn it back on. Some good question just came in. But then again, I can't open it. What's next? Who knows? Okay, still turning off. I used to work for two computers, but that was okay. Let's try this now. I'll turn it back on. I don't know how to hold this button down. Ah, there's the apple. Of course, you know, apple, black, uh, blackberry, it's all forbidden fruit. There's a whole uh, demonic psychology behind these. That's why everybody walks around staring at them all day. I mean, I can't open my email. I won't be staring at this. Okay. It's up. Everything's updating every two seconds. Well, it was a good question with all these updates. Again, blood gold will change your life. The copper, the silver. Okay, this is now opened up again. Let's see if we go with the email. Hey, it opened. All right. If you're married and beta and your wife dominates you, can you switch to alpha or is it too late to re-switch the marriage? You can switch in five seconds. Five seconds. Uh, any of the audio programs will help you. It's a game. Who's ever alpha just won the game, and who's ever in charge won the game. All you got to do is switch your tactics. There's, there's so many ways that it's just impossible for you to lose. And I'm sorry for your situation. I know how bad it is, and it can, before it becomes a lifestyle, go to GaryBrowski.com and uh, get the How to Start a Cult. Um, how to be cool actually would be perfect. All it is a simple thing. She played your emotions. You overreacted. Now you got to reestablish territory. And guess what? you got a captive audience. You can't lose. You cannot lose. Pussy whipped, okay? I'm not saying you're pussy whipped, I know, but, but it, you might be. You could turn that around. Uh, there's 29 sides of it. You can read and write about it like, on GaryRotsky.com. Because I know that feeling. I've been in relationships where all of a sudden she's in charge of how the fuck this should happen. And I've turned it around because it's no way for mentally. So. Be a wise man and learn from this fool's advice who's been there. You can turn it around. That's the channel. Okay. You can turn it around rapidly. How to dominate any of those things. Yes, I know they want me to pull those down, but... Oh, now the questions are coming in. I am a cool guy. I know you. I'm not worried at all. Okay, yeah. No, I know this guy. He's a cool guy. He doesn't worry. He doesn't give a fuck what women think. And that's how you get into the traps. You start to think, what does she think? Instead of, what do I think? The simple rule is this. You walk into a room with women. And wow. 
I wonder if they like me. Beta thinking. You walk in a room with women and go, I wonder which one I like. That little difference makes a big difference. And the other thing is the dating myths. Again, you don't need 5,000 dates till you have sex. Because when you first meet a girl, and I mentioned this on some of the programs, that's your first date. Then when you pick her up, you're already on a second date. She doesn't realize that. So the most important critical thing again is your first five and ten minutes meeting. Then the stage is set. Now most guys, and I've seen this happen way too much, I see this happen so much it makes me sick. It makes me talk about how I leave sometimes I see it so much. I can't believe it. Guys that meet the women, they pick them up, the women are ready to go, and they blow it. And that is the biggest complaint I get about the audios. It's like, oh, if I knew that, I blew so many opportunities. I had I didn't know it. Well, you won't make that mistake again. GaryBrotsky.com. It works. Hey, Drina. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Thank you, Renee, for popping in. And we got to do the show together. Try to get it for a uh, Wednesday show. Do Wednesday radio show on Block Talk Radio. Anybody listening? Every Wednesday, 11.30. I have not missed one yet. Of course, I just changed my password. Hope I can remember it. But uh, anyway, one down at the end of the show. Questions, Gary Brodsky, 123 at AOL.com. And get your questions in and get to GaryRodsky.com and start improving your sex life because there's no limits. Loneliness is painful. When you have the knowledge, you won't be lonely. It's almost like working machine. I push these right buttons to get women. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Oh, the girls are out tonight. Let's hear something from the guys. Okay, some more soda, more music. That's how my life works. <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you. Now, it's also posted on my Facebook. Gary, thank you for helping me become alpha. I get older than I want. Simple, true, because the stuff on there is knowledge. It's not theory. It's knowledge. Women will react to certain things. That's why they'll spend $800 on Louis Vuitton bag, which is made of vinyl. Like I said, because one of my friends owns Louis Vuitton. And, uh, you know, he, you know, they try to sell them for like $45. And so I said, why don't you raise the price to like $700? What, are you crazy? He did. I mean, why? Because people want things of value, even if they have no value. That's women's minds. You've got to set up the idea that you have value. Simple. And it's all there again at GaryBrodsky.com. If you're not ever signed up, sign up. You get a free ebook. It may help me out with your problem. That guy who has a problem that wants to keep you quiet. Another one, private question. Okay, and a not so private question. Hi, Gary. Hi. It is not even remotely surprising asshole beta jerk of so-called males and feminists attack you all the time lately. You're trying to improve people's lives, both men and women. God bless you for it. Wow, thank you. Kevin Trudeau, Trudeau tried to make people's lives better. Now he's in jail. On no note, have you ever heard of someone called Pimpin' Ken? No. But you have a good point. Look at all the people who try to make people's lives better and what's happened to them, okay? It's just really a tragedy. But 
there is also a website called Gary Brodsky must be stopped because his stuff works too good. No, I, I love when I hear this stuff. His stuff works too good when we don't really stand a chance. You check it out on Facebook. So I can't believe he's got women doing this, women doing that. Oh, women are just falling to this stuff. We're going to jump into beds with guys. We got to stop this guy. His stuff really works. We don't want to stop the other guys. This stuff is bullshit. Actually, it says on us, the anti Gary Brodsky site. I came across something really funny on the site. Uh, this guy starts bashing me. Who is this? You know, dick, whatever. And he says, I lose to some of his stuff. And, you know, he's bashing the hell out of me. At the end, he goes, you know, I tried his stuff at work. You go, go fuck yourselves. I thought it was really funny. It's like after all the bashing, you know, something, the guy's stuff works. I mean, women, I don't need this stupid blog. Works. Why do a lot of women get gross and fat after marriage? I actually, uh, it's almost like the game is over and now I don't have to take care of myself. And that's what causes a lot of cheating, okay? And that type of mentality that women have, again, is not good. If the guy is alpha enough and always has to have the upper hand, woman is not going to get fat and go to hell. They get fat and go to hell as defiance against their husband. They want to keep him away, so they're going to act like it happens a lot. In fact, there's a, there's a new thing now in these prenups. If the woman gains you know, a certain amount of weight, you guys have to pay anything. Women hate that, but let's face it, it's a reality. You know, it's like funny pictures. I, I, I know like some of the old you know, girls from high school looking on Facebook. Oh, she's real hot. Look at her now. And she married. Okay. This has to be. I should definitely do a webinar soon on that. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, we're just about done here. GaryBrodsky.com, BrainTrainPower.com. Just want to mention something about that. It's all inspirational stuff that your subconscious mind will accept because it does not know truth from fiction. And if it tells you you're great, you become great. Just like you know, with, with any mind, if you hear it enough, you'll become it. And that's the whole idea behind GaryBrodsky.com. No, BrainTrainPower.com. Check it out. It is definitely because I have used it on myself. I've healed myself of you know, I don't go to doctors. This time I saw a doctor, I was born. And Pedro had put him in the hospital a few times. But that doesn't count. Thank you too. Okay. Um, as a cigarette goes, last and final call for questions. Do you have blood gold in stock? Yeah, but not not, not for long. Not and you're gonna have to wait next week. So yeah, definitely get it now. I have 88 bottles in stock. And believe me, they go fast. They go fast. There are people in this neighborhood that that stalk me for this stuff. A lot of business people just want to attract more money. It attracts things. It frees testosterone. It makes you crazy. You know, Manly, if any, you know, lack of a better word, it's almost a curse word now. I mean, look what they're doing to kids in, in elementary school. They can't even play with a soccer ball anymore, they have to play with a Nerf ball. Why? To get men to feel like they're victims and they can't be tough, they can't, you know, it's just not a good space. That's why you have to go, as I said in the beginning, out as a combat warrior where you are out to win at any and all costs because you're not out to win you're out to lose there is no neutral ground in the game of seduction you either get it or you don't you can't sit on the sidelines no neutral ground I'm sorry about that neutral ground means you're not getting women 
Okay, here comes the last question of the night. What do you do if you tell your girlfriend she's beautiful and she rolls her eyes in disbelief? What do you do? You don't give a shit what she does. You can only give a shit what you do and what she can do for you. That's the thing. You don't care. She's rolling her eyes to get a reaction out of you and uh, it's working. You don't react. I'm telling you, just play it cool. She rolls her eyes. Big deal, she rolls her eyes. Now, oh my gosh, she rolls her eyes. It'll bring out the beta in you. You don't want that. You know, women rolling their eyes, it's a test. React, and you failed the test. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. And the gentleman who just called in, Please go to GaryBradsky.com. I am here to help. A lot of people can testify to the fact. And if you don't, if it doesn't work, nah, my guarantee. If any of the products do not work and do not get you laid and the sexual lifestyle you want, with as many women as you want, or don't want, relationship, whatever you want, if you don't get it within 30 days, your money will be cheerfully refunded plus free of charge. We send you the knife to cut it off with. Now that's a guarantee that nobody else gives. Anyway, thank you for watching. Let me remind you again, GaryBrowski.com, WealthPlusPower.com, OccultForce.com, and sometimes too often forgotten, BrainTrainPower.com. And now, good night.